This is a great place to do a bit of train spotting. Such a good view. Yes. Anyway, what we're going to do first of all is clean the case tractor. It's a bit of a mess and it really could do with a bit of sprucing up. So that is job number one. Job number two is to go over to the chickens and sort out the eggs. I think we do have some to sell, so we'll take a look at that. And job number three is to find a contract to do. Okay, so here we are, back over at the farm. The house was voted to stay, so that's the end of it. We don't need to have any debates over it. Let's just let's just go and uh, clean the case tractor, and we will put it away. Unless, of course, we're going to use it for the, the contract later. I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, I'd better leave it there actually, because if we can use our own tractors, that is definitely the best approach. You get more money, as you'll know by now anyway. Um, so yeah, that is a good thing to do. Oh look, we have two, which means. This one is definitely full. And I can rotate it. Yeah, there we go. Just to shake the eggs up a bit. No, just to <laughs> just to demonstrate the rotation of these things. Where did I put the gator? Found it. It was literally right next to where we were stood, so I have no idea how I missed it. But I have done a bit of expert stacking as you can as you can see there. Really, really good stacking of those boxes. <laughs> uh, no, actually, the strapping was good. We'll say the strapping was good. Probably not the stacking. So we are off to Port North West, which is a long way over here. But if we can make a few pounds out of this, that would be good. It might pay for the fuel. So very soon, um, I'm going to be doing a live stream where we basically have a treasure hunt. I did this with 17, but it wasn't a live stream. Um, it was the Easter special. So what I've already done is I've put some bales out on Ravenport. I've laid the bales out in different random locations. We'll have 15 players to retrieve 16 bales. There's a bonus. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, I'll, I'll live stream it and see how it goes. This is the first time I've been up here. Fuel station. It's actually pretty around here than it was over at the farm. I do want to improve the farm. I think if we get a tree plant we can put some extra trees in and it can look much prettier. It's very open, very flat. Okay, so the cell point is right next to me. Here. Stop doing that. There we go. Uh, so, do we just drive in? Yes, we do. We've got £144. Plus 25. I have a good solution to this, a very professional solution. Oh, it's going to drive forward and have him fall out the back. 730, wow, it actually is worth a lot of money. This is going to be good then. The next load we do will potentially be thousands of pounds because we've bought more chickens since this load. Um, so, yeah, I think chickens could be the future for us. I drive back this way because I haven't been up here at all. I wish our house was over here, the farm. I could have set it out anywhere at the start, because I'm doing farm manager. I could have bought any field and made any section of land our own yard. Still, there's always next time. Yeah, it is. It's nice up here. That building there looks American. Something from Ravenport, I assume. Um, yeah, it doesn't look very European. I guess... The houses probably are, actually. They don't look like they're from the UK, but this isn't the UK, so that's fine. Okay, so yeah, as we're out here, we might as well take a look at the contracts. I'm probably going to have to go over to the store anyway to lease a machine. But like I say, if we can use our own tractors, which is highly unlikely, um, that would bring in a bit of extra profit. Right, so what do we have? Cotton. Surprised to see that on this map. I didn't think cotton was uh, grown in Europe. But it is another thing we could do. Uh, so let's just see. What else do we have? No John Deere combines, I don't think. There is a John Deere tractor. It's a fairly small field. So yeah, if we're not even worth doing with our tractor, it would still take forever. Um, that could be a good one. The quad track. Yes, field number 10. We'll head back first. Put this away. When we have done the contract, we also have to pick up the straw. 
and we need to drill for number 25 with the weeder. It's going to be uh, a crop of canola, so that's going to be quite nice to have. This field here is going to be oats, so that all needs to be subsoiled, which turns out to be a really good thing to have, especially if it actually is acting as a plough. It means we could actually sell the plough unless we're wanting to expand fields, but then again I could just lease the plough in the future. So there is potential money there. Okay, so let's put this here. Don't crash! No! The braking seems to stop once you've turned the engine off. Right, um... Nope. Yes. This is going to be fun. I do like using the, uh, the quad track. It's a beast of a machine. Although I don't think this is the European version. I'm pretty sure the European version doesn't have the flashes up here. It does have the beacons though. Right, so this is going to be quite a challenge getting it down the road. Uh, yeah, not really the the right machine for the area, but still. Field number 10, we've been to it before. In fact, it might be the last field we did. This should literally take just a few minutes because it's so wide. Hopefully they've given us a big enough tractor, the 540. Uh, it's the biggest, the 600. Not too sure. I think it used to be. 620 is the biggest in the game. Okay. And the smallest is 470. So it's kind of mid-range of the quad tracks. Oh no! A car! I'm afraid you're going to have to pull over. Unless you want me to put a lovely scratch. No, actually no. Scratch that. <laughs> put a lovely gouge through your car. Unbelievable drivers. They will not move. There we go. Right. Let's continue. It's not only exceeding one side of the road, it's actually exceeding the entire road in width. Oh no, it's that driver again. Well here we are. I have absolutely no idea how wide this is actually going to be. I'm just going to say extremely wide. We'll have to reverse and position it in a second. Yeah, it's looking about right. Perfect. Okay, so uh, depending on how fast you can pull it up the hill, I'm going to say it's going to take about five minutes. If it's slow, maybe ten. Although we're doing six, that's pretty good. Wow. Nice bit of kit. Very nice. That is made to measure. So yeah, that has been great fun. Very, very fast job. Um, just got to watch the traffic when turning. I can remember when I did this a few days ago, same field. I almost crashed into a lorry, which was uh, driving on the road. In fact, there was a viewer who commented on it. Despite it being a time lapse, somebody still noticed that I was about an inch off uh, hitting this truck. So yeah, that was super close. Luckily, I didn't hit it. Even if I had, it wouldn't really have mattered, but there you go. Contract on field 10 finished. Well, we'll continue. We might as well finish the job. No point just stopping now. That would annoy myself. Usually I'm annoying my viewers by not doing stuff properly, but that would actually annoy me. So we'll go right to the end. And, uh, yeah. Then we'll take the reward, which I'm assuming will be about £2,000, because it was, it was three-something before leasing the machinery. Right, there we go. Uh, so, it's, oh, it's actually 1,000. 1,877. Still, it's extra money. Better than nothing. Right, so what we're going to do now is... Yeah, put this away. Now, the trailer can live over here. As for the tractor, that might be required in a second, because what we're going to do is drill number 25... Whoops. I don't really want to have the log grab on here anyway. So that can go there. OK. 
Okay. I, I didn't want to take the whole front loader off, but actually, that could be a good thing. How unusual. You could actually fill it up through the wall. And here is the weeder. Now, this field actually is full of weeds at the bottom. So this is not only going to drill the crop, but it's also going to weed the field. Two in one go. Sounds like a good deal to me. Right, beacons, and it's already selected canola. So that is fine. In the future, we might actually turn this field into a grass field, since we might start making hay as our main income, because we do need hay as well for the horses, and also uh, it's, just, it's just a really good thing to do. Selling grass and hay. We could also do silage. That's reminded me, because I've mentioned horses, I will now show you the horse page, the information page. And what you should see is that the price has gone up considerably, because it's been, uh, well, the trainer who we're paying um, is training them every day. 11,291. And I believe this gets to £50,000 eventually. And we have four horses. We're going to buy some more horses very soon. Um, I'm actually planning on doing a live stream as well at some point where we do a load of contracts and boost the money without cheating. Especially as it looks like we're now not going to get rid of the house. I was actually expecting the majority vote to be in favour of selling the house, but apparently not. So it's a good job I did it. Because I would have just thought, I, I assume, because of all the comments I'm getting, um, most of my viewers want me to get the money instead of the house. But actually, no. It seems to be the total opposite. There was still a lot of viewers who are in favour of selling it, but not as many as those who wanted to keep it. Right, so I'm going to continue. This should be a few minute job. We've got the subsoiler up there. Once we've done this, we'll go back over to fill number 20. We'll clear the straw off, and then hopefully we can get that subsoiler as well. In fact, I'll get the subsoiler going as we do it. Almost finished the section with weeds. That's looking so much better than it was before. Still full of birds, though. I'm actually surprised you can't get a scarecrow to get rid of the birds. That could be a nice mod. Just finishing up. It's gone very well. Only taken a few minutes to do. Uh, looks like the worker did miss a tiny piece of the field with the subsoiler, so I'll have to do that first. But, yeah, not really a big deal. And there we go, it's finished. So time to head back over to a 20, like I say, we're going to tidy it up and get the cultivation going. But that is a really good use for the weeder, not just for weeding, it's uh, it's very good. Multi-purpose. I'll take the uh, New Holland T5 back, since that's the one that needs to go on a worker. Then we'll come back for the other tractor and uh, swap the weeder for the loading wagon. Weeds! A lot of weeds. Right. There we go. Now for the case. And we'll put this into its storage point, which is just over here. I really don't know how many loads of straw we're going to get off the field, but I think I already do have a load in the uh, the loading wagon itself. So if I uh, if I just go and take that over to the self point, unless it isn't totally full, if it ha if it's got something in it, then we'll top it up. If it's totally full, we'll take it straight over to the self point. Looking at it, it's empty or just low. Uh, this also needs to have some kind of storage point. I don't know. Hmm. We do need to have another shed, really, but I don't have the money for it. Not enough money to be able to just spend on a shed. Um, yeah, because initially I thought that everybody would vote in favour of uh, selling the house, so I'd have replaced that with a really big machinery shed. But now I just need to do contracting. Uh, half full. We'll top it up. First stop, though. 
for the horses. Keep it topped up. Right, uh, the T5 is getting on very well. And we are picking up straw. This straw is fetching a very good price, although unfortunately the rest of it we have to keep for the horses, although the majority of this will still probably be sold in the future. We seem to get so much straw, we never have to uh, keep it in here for too long. So the subsoil is catching up, which is good, uh, we've almost finished, and I think before I do finish the video today, what we're going to do is spray off those weeds over there, because they are horrible. They are just uh, an eyesore in the middle of our lovely grass field which we've planted. Okay, the final piece. Might have to come back to this piece here. Still driving with the beacons on. I'll have to check the exact price of that straw because we were getting over £2,000 for a full load. Last time we did, I think we got about 1200 So it's really increased. The best we had before that was about 1800 So, onto here. A good price before was £84. 89. Wow. It really is good. Okay, so uh, that needs to be tidied up too. In fact, what I need to do next time is buy a bucket for the front loader. I'll we'll have to. Uh, right. It looks like our herbicide is a bit blocked in. I'll have to move some things out of the way first. Or I could actually bring it out with the forklift. Um... Yes. No. Yes. We really don't need too much. It's just going to be the smallest piece. In fact, it is just one pass over it. We just have to go once over that section and it'll be done. Oh, I'll go for this, this IBC just here. There we go. Oh, plenty in here. That means we have quite a bit of herbicide in storage. Okay, now for the sprayer. Funny looking sprayer. Now what I'm doing is just putting it here. Much better place to store it. Ah. I got my head stuck. Uh, right, uh, so there it is. Chances are we're going to have to take the current liquid fertilizer out of there. But that's easy enough. Come on. We need space. We do. And that will also do. There is the dog. Seems happy. Yep, so it is just a really, really small section. Oh, it's actually wider than I thought. Still, nothing of a job. Ah, no, they're not going. Well, that is a mystery. Some kind of invincible weed we seem to have produced. Must be something to do with the grass, I assume? I don't know, because I've not had a problem with the other crops. Anyway, we'll leave it there. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.